Hello everybody, it's me again. I was going to leave this video till tomorrow, but I was just too excited. I thought, well, it's done. I'll get it done now and um, have a bit of fun chatting to you guys instead of waiting till tomorrow. Anyway, as usual, um, if you don't know any of your numerology numbers, your core numbers, your life path, your expression number, um, I'm going to put a link to my calculating your numbers video um, in the description box of this video. Um, so today I'm going to do the life path nine. Um, uh, sorry, it's been another busy day. Right, let's get started. I can't think of anything else I need to say before we get started. Nope. So off we go. Okay, so if you're a Life Path 9, your chosen mission for this lifetime is to work with issues around integrity and wisdom. So in a word, or in quite a few words, the Life Path 9 can either be a superhero or um, everyone's um, saviour, or he can completely double-cross you and ruin your life for his own ends um, the nine is a very 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 powerful person and it's really important that if you are a life path nine that you use your powerful nature for good that's why you're working with issues like integrity and wisdom okay right so you're here to live in a live in accord of your highest integrity Align your life with your heart's intuitive wisdom because your heart's intuitive wisdom will, will always be pure source energy. Um, it will never entice you to do something bad. Um, the life path or the source energy will always get keep you on the path to reality, truth and wisdom. Um, but some life paths, nines, they really focus on their mind and they use their ideals um, to make it almost justify bad behavior but anyway i'll go into that i'm going into too much detail okay so you're here to be a good boy or girl actually to live to your highest integrity so to look out for others align your life with your heart's intuitive wisdom follow your own truths more spiritual truths than anything else and be an example to others because you you're a, you're a powerful leader people just look to you and follow you whether you try or not um, go beyond the distractions of the material world to the heights of spiritual law. Um, it's part of your, and it's meant to be difficult for you, Life Path Nines, but you're meant to have, uh, follow the spiritual law. Not the, not the law of the land, not the law of this country. Uh, most of the time the law of this country is in fact an ass. Um, but the spiritual law, the law of justice, the law of intuition, spiritual laws that help yourself and other people. Learn from experience and demonstrate leadership by example. People follow you, whether you're an expression nine, um, a life path nine especially, and an expression nine especially, or some people call it a destiny number. They demonstrate by leadership, and they're like, they're like your religious leader that everyone looks to and praises um, and follows the direction of. Very, very, very powerful character. <sighs> right. So, Life Path Nines, you do struggle to live in accord with your highest integrity. Um, I've known Life Path Nines that are always in trouble, always in trouble with the law, always doing things they shouldn't, and Life Path Nines that are just almost angels from heaven. So, you're on a continuum of integrity, good behaviour, bad behaviour, um, taking care of others to taking care of yourself. OK, and, you know, this is about taking care of others, having a giving nature and using your intuition and your ethics to help other people. Um, you subordinate mental processes to your heart's wisdom if you are high vibrational. Um, you need to listen to your heart, guys. Us, you life path nines, you use your mind far too much. And because you're quite idealist, a lot of life path nines use their ideals to justify in their mental mind, and I don't mean mental loon, I mean in their mental processes, they justify their behavior towards others, like a fundamentalist or like a, a sect religious leader or something like that. 
and they can use what they think should be right as a justification and think they're right in doing that when really if they'd have listened to their heart's wisdom they would have never have done something like that okay practice what you preach so that you know you're always telling other people what's right and what to do you know you need to be authentic and do that yourself um connect with your intuitive wisdom again that's that's linked with not um not listening on your 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 brain and you know justifying to yourself your ideals and why what you're doing is right no that's not going to work for you and it won't bring you good for yourself or other people listen to your intuition not your ideals not your brain not people doing this in your ear listen to your heart because your heart knows life path nine you're an old soul you're a life path nine because you've been here a while you've been here quite a few times so you know what you're talking about you don't need to follow other people follow what's in here and you can never go wrong so if you find religion and spirituality um you would resonate you would be very much like the ancient sage people would listen to you people would follow you most definitely priests and priestesses and of course if they don't have such good intentions there have been religious leaders in the past that i won't name that very likely were life path nines or expression number nines uh, because they led people towards something that wasn't for their greater good it was to extol themselves um, which is the negative expression of the nine right what do you bring though as a nine you're a very old soul you're full of wisdom um very oh there's nothing silly about you i know a life path nine and he just he's definitely a life path nine let's just put it that way so you live in accord if you're a life path nine you live in accord with your highest integrity you're a good bloke or lady basically and you can be trusted to do the right thing that's if you're high vibrational you listened and aligned to your heart's intuitive wisdom. You don't let your brain justify things to you to do like bad things. You listen to your heart. Um, your life is your teaching. So you live in a way that others follow. So if you are, because you're very much the humanitarian. So if you were into saving the environment, your life and the way you live it would be your teaching to others. So let's say if you were into the environment, your home and your way of life would be um, what would show others the right way. Like your house would be totally eco, covered in solar panels. You'd probably recycle your own water and people would look to you for the answers. And that's not just in environment. That could be in anything, um, anything that the world is struggling with right now. So people follow your example. So it must be a good example, peeps. So when you're doing something good, people will follow you. And when you're doing something bad as well inspire others by good example okay so if you want people to take care of the planet if you want people to believe something that you fervently believe in you've got to inspire others by example why is it true and and show them why it's true um charisma that draws others in um, when a life path nine speaks people tend to listen and follow what the life path says what the life path nine says very much so they inspire others with their words uh speak with authority um very much the leader people follow you and listen to your every word like you know al almost like a preacher um i i won't say the jc because i don't want to get myself in trouble um look beyond society roles you're not interested in society's roles you're interested in higher spiritual laws and that's what you go by um, your quiet wisdom that you take from your intuition guides you well and others definitely follow you and look to you for guidance you're the sage you're you're the wise one you're a truth seeker and an old soul with a very global consciousness you are the ultimate humanitarian if anyone's going to move something and make something different in this world it's going to be the nine that does that uh, movers of humanity movers of humanity uh, humanitarian peacemaker um, very very idealistic though and that's where you can slip up sometimes um justice seeker and you will fight small-minded bigotry in your early life you might struggle with a bit of bigotry yourself um i know someone who in his early life was quite racist and now he campaigns against that and i wasn't surprised to find out that he is actually a life path nine but at least he's on the right path now um, but yeah, negative life path nines can be very bigoted and racist at times. 
um, and that's what they fight to try and achieve. So um, they're not meant to be great at that kind of thing right at the beginning anyway. So if you if you see a, a bigoted life path nine, cut them some slack because they do have a lesson to learn in this life. And that's one of them. Uh, practice what you preach and lead by example. As I've said, people just follow you. You are very loving. You're very brave and courageous, compassionate, empathetic, protective and very wise. Um, you know, very loving people, very, very, very protective, um, parental, nurturing. And you value your family. You value your friends. You value anyone that's close to you. You love to laugh. You're very passionate, emotional, but you can kick off. Oh, my Lord. As I said, I've known a few Life Path Nines, and they're all very passionate and emotional, and I love them all to bits because I get on with Nines big time. But, my Lord, I wouldn't want to be around when you kick off. <gasps> no. You're very worldly. You're very sophisticated. You know, you won't make a fool of yourself. If somebody else wants to throw themselves in a river, you'll quite happily watch them and have fun, but you're not going to do that yourself. You're above that, you know, you're, you know, people follow you, not the other way around. You're a loyal caretaker, champion of the underdog. So if you see someone that's struggling or vulnerable, you are going to be the one to fight the bully, to help the vulnerable person. Basically, you're just like a hero. Um, you're persuasive, you're authoritative, very powerful, very powerful, strong characters, the life path nine. Um, uh, but you're also helpful, you know, you're, you're like this lovely person but you're also not to be messed with as well so you've got a lot of skills there life path nine what are your challenges though as all life paths have challenges you definitely have challenges so if you're an unbalanced nine or a low vibrational nine or a young nine that's still finding his feet his or her feet you will have difficulty um, with the very with spiritual laws basically you'll have difficulty following rules and not doing things that disrupt others um, that you'd be the kid at school that was always in trouble with the teachers or getting himself excluded or arrested you know that kind of thing um, you have difficulty doing what you intuitively know is best because you get stuck in your mental analytical mind and then you think of what your ideals are and you think no no whether my heart believes it or not i have to do this because that's what i believe in and that's caused many deaths in the past especially from religious leaders you need you must take responsibility for the consequences of your actions because you're powerful if you do something and it all goes i'm gonna say tits up take responsibility guys you know don't shirk it don't lie don't run away from it um you have difficulty with cause and effect action reaction like you just do something but you don't always consider what might be the impact of that um you can misinterpret interpret yourself you can put yourself forward as a very giving person you can like the ultimate con artist really you can make someone believe that they are the center of your world or that you're going to do something amazing for them and then you realize actually at the end of it all that they've just screwed you out of all your life savings or done something else bad to you. But that's only an unbalanced nine. They're very good at making you believe what they want you to believe and be inauthentic. So you can also, because you're a leader and people follow you, you can mislead others into unethical behavior too. Um, fail to respect other people's process or path, taking the mick out of others because they've got different beliefs to you, different ideals to you. And like disrespecting them basically for being different to you which you know when you're more balanced you wouldn't do something like that misusing your will to dominate others playing god like i said the the, the archetypal typal sect leader that leads all his all his followers to group suicide i have no doubt that that you know that any sect leader that does that actually believes what they're doing is right and that they think that, you know, whatever they do to women or other people or how badly they treat others, they fully believe they're doing the right thing because their ideals have told them so. Um, so, you know, not all the time, but a lot of the time, even these people playing God, they actually do think in their idealistic, deluded mind that they're doing the right thing. Um, but other, other nines are totally aware of what they're doing. They know they're putting a, this lovely persona across, but in the background, they're actually um screwing you over basically that's in the negative though 
Oh, well-intentioned fanatic, like I said earlier, a lot of sect leaders, they could be well-intentioned. They, you know, they believe what they're doing is right and they're fanatical and they will do terrible things that they think is right for their ideals. Um, they're like a rebel without a cause sometimes. They just fight against everything, especially if they get angry or frustrated. Um, definitely judge, judge, judge others by their ideals and will you know often do horrible things to people that don't have the same ideals of them if they're really negative um <laughs> yes the life path nine is very much the savior um and they help a lot of people they're the advisor the savior the protector like the god the superhero figure however this can make you a bit of a fixer and then you sacrifice your own needs and you end up suffering because you've given everything that you have to someone else and you're not giving enough back to yourself. So try and avoid being a fixer and sacrificing your own needs and your own will um, just for other people. I mean, it's good. It's good to give to other people, but not to your own detriment. Uh, Self-judgment, internalized pain and substance abuse comes from your idealistic nature. And you also, you tend to hold on to bad things that have happened to you in the past. Let's say something happened to you in the past that um, has really traumatized you. And instead of fighting to get by it, you actually use it as an excuse to do what you do. So whether it's your ideals or something that's happened to you in the past that gives you this justification, you can use that as well um, as a justification to hurt other people or do something for your own benefit. Um, yeah, you find it hard to let go of previous events that don't serve you and you can hold yourself back because of it and end up a victim. Oh, this happened to me. Self-pity, self-pity, grizzle, grizzle. You know, that works with people for a while, but it doesn't work forever and it only brings you down. Uh, emotionally intense, fiery temper. You don't want to be in, in the way of a life path six when he kicks off. But you can, you're also quite distant. You, you know, you're caring and you're giving. But you're caring and giving to people that are at a distance, people that you see as less fortunate than you. That doesn't mean that you want to be really close to the people in your life. There's always you've always got people at a bit of arm's length, um, holding people back at a distance. You're quite aloof and you hide your heart. I think maybe because you're worried about getting it hurt. I don't know, but you do hide your heart and you can be quite cold and apathetic at times. Right, so what I've been talking about, there are currently six ways to be a life path nine. What I've just discussed with you um, up until now is a pure nine, the pure nine energy. And some people's life uh, birthday does add up to a nine. Uh, so that would be their life path, just a nine. You're here to be a nine. Um, but, you know, most people have uh, sub lessons before their life path. What I like to call steps to help you achieve your life path. So if we look at the 189, so 9 on the far right is the most important of those numbers. That's your life path. That is the big kahuna in your life, top notch, top of the pyramid, life path 9. The 1 and the 8 are the steps that you need to achieve to be the best life path 9 you can be. And out of these two numbers, the most important of the two is the one furthest to the right, and then lesser so, the one furthest to the left. So if you think of a life path, unless it's a master life path, the more significant the numbers are to the right, and as you go more to the left, they become less significant. So this is the most significant step, the eight in the life path 189, with the one being... Hello everybody, it's me again. I was going to leave this video till tomorrow, but I was just too excited i thought well it's done i'll get it done now and um have a bit of fun chatting to you guys instead of waiting until tomorrow anyway as usual um if you don't know any of your like numerology numbers your core numbers your life path your expression number um, i'm going to put a link to my calculating your numbers video um in the description box of this video um so today i'm going to do the life path nine um uh, sorry, it's been another busy day. Right, let's get started. I can't think of anything else I need to say before we get started. Nope. So off we go. 
Okay, so if you're a life path nine, your chosen mission for this lifetime is to work with issues around integrity and wisdom. So in a word, or in quite a few words, the life path nine can either be a superhero or um, everyone's um, saviour, or he can completely double cross you and ruin your life for his own ends. Um, the nine is a very, very, very powerful person. And it's really important that if you are a life path nine, that you use your powerful nature for good. That's why you're working with issues like integrity and wisdom. Okay. Right. So you're here to live in, a, live in accord of your highest integrity. Align your life with your heart's intuitive wisdom, because your heart's intuitive wisdom will, will always be pure source energy. Um, it will never entice you to do something bad. Um, the life path or the source energy will always get keep you on the path to reality, truth and wisdom. Um, but some life paths nines, they really focus on their mind and they use their ideals um, to make it almost justify bad behavior. But anyway, I'll go into that. I'm going into too much detail. OK, so you're here to be a good boy or girl, actually, to live to your highest integrity. So to look out for others. Align your life with your heart's intuitive wisdom. Follow your own truths, more spiritual truths than anything else, and be an example to others. Because you, you're, a, you're a powerful leader, people just look to you and follow you, whether you try or not. Um, go beyond the distractions of the material world to the heights of spiritual law. Um, it's part of your, and it's meant to be difficult for you, Life Path Nines, but you're meant to have uh, follow the spiritual law, not the not the law of the land, not the law of this country. Uh, most of the time, the law of this country is, in fact, and ass. Um, but the spiritual law, the law of justice, the law of intuition, spiritual laws that help yourself and other people. Learn from experience and demonstrate leadership by example. People follow you, whether you're an expression nine. Um, a life path nine especially and an expression nine especially or some people call it a destiny number they demonstrate by leadership and they're like they're like your religious leader that everyone looks to and praises um, and follows the direction of very 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 powerful character <sighs> right so life path nines you do struggle to live in accord with your highest integrity um, I've known life path nines that are always in trouble, always in trouble with the law, always doing things they shouldn't. And life path nines that are just almost angels from heaven. So you're on a continuum of integrity, good behavior, bad behavior, um, taking care of others to taking care of yourself. OK, and, you know, this is about taking care of others, having a giving nature and using your intuition and your ethics to help other people. Um, you subordinate mental processes to your heart's wisdom if you are high vibrational. Um, you need to listen to your heart, guys. Us, you life path nines, you use your mind far too much. And because you're quite idealist, a lot of life path nines use their ideals to justify in their mental mind, and I don't mean mental loon, I mean in their mental processes, they justify their behavior towards others, like a fundamentalist or like a, a sect religious leader or something like that. And they can use what they think should be right as a justification and think they're right in doing that. When really, if they'd have listened to their heart's wisdom, they would have never have done something like that. OK, practice what you preach so that, you know, you're always telling other people what's right and what to do. You know, you need to be authentic and do that yourself. Um, connect with your intuitive wisdom. Again, that's that's linked with not um, not listening on your 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 brain and you know justifying to yourself your ideals and why what you're doing is right. No, that's not going to work for you, and it won't bring you good for yourself or other people. Listen to your intuition, not your ideals, not your brain, not people doing this in your ear. Listen to your heart, because your heart knows life path nine. You're an old soul. You're a life path nine because you've been here a while. 
You've been there quite a few times, so you know what you're talking about. You don't need to follow other people. Follow what's in here, and you can never go wrong. So if you find religion and spirituality, um, you would resonate. You would be very much like the ancient sage. People would listen to you. People would follow you, most definitely. Priests and priestesses. And, of course, if they don't have such good intentions, there have been religious leaders in the past that I won't name that very likely were life path nines or expression number nines uh, because they led people towards something that wasn't for their greater good. It was to extol themselves, um, which is the negative expression of the nine. Right. What do you bring, though, as a nine? You're a very old soul. You're full of wisdom. Um, very, oh, there's nothing silly about you i know a life path nine and he just yeah, he's definitely a life path nine let's just put it that way so you live in accord if you're a life path nine you live in accord with your highest integrity you're a good bloke or lady basically and you can be trusted to do the right thing that's if you're high vibrational you listened and aligned to your heart's intuitive wisdom you don't let your brain justify things to you to do like bad things you listen to your heart um, your life is your teaching, so you live in a way that others follow. So if you are, because you're very much the humanitarian, so if you were into saving the environment, your life and the way you live it would be your teaching to others. So let's say if you were into the environment, your home and your way of life would be um, what would show others the right way like your house would be totally eco, covered in solar panels, you'd probably recycle your own water, and people would look to you for the answers. And that's not just in environment, that could be in anything, um, anything that the world is struggling with right now. So people follow your example. So it must be a good example, peeps. So when you're doing something good, people will follow you. And when you're doing something bad as well. Inspire others by good example. OK, so if you want people to take care of the planet, if you want people to believe something that you fervently believe in, you've got to inspire others by example. Why is it true? And, and show them why it's true. Um, charisma that draws others in. Um, when a life path nine speaks, people tend to listen and follow what the life path says, what the life path nine says very much so. They inspire others with their words, uh, speak with authority, um, very much the leader. People follow you and listen to your every word, like, you know, almost like a preacher. Um, I, I won't say the JC because I don't want to get myself in trouble. Um, look beyond society rules. You're not interested in society's rules. You're interested in higher spiritual laws, and that's what you go by. Um, your quiet wisdom that you take from your intuition guides you well. And others definitely follow you and look to you for guidance. You're the sage. You're, you're the wise one. You're a truth seeker and an old soul with a very global consciousness. You are the ultimate humanitarian. If anyone's going to move something and make something different in this world, it's going to be the nine that does that. Uh, movers of humanity, movers of humanity, uh, humanitarian peacemaker. Uh, very, very idealistic, though. And that's where you can slip up sometimes um justice seeker and you will fight small-minded bigotry in your early life you might struggle with a bit of bigotry yourself um i know someone who in his early life was quite racist and now he campaigns against that and i wasn't surprised to find out that he is actually a life path nine but at least he's on the right path now um but yeah the negative life path nines can be very bigoted and racist at times um and that's what they fight to try and achieve so um, they're not meant to be great at that kind of thing right at the beginning anyway. So if you if you see a, a bigoted life path nine, cut them some slack because they do have a lesson to learn in this life. And that's one of them. Uh, practice what you preach and lead by example. As I've said, people just follow you. You are very loving. You're very brave and courageous, compassionate, empathetic, protective and very wise. Um, you know, very loving people, very, very, very protective, um, parental, nurturing, and you value your family, you value your friends, you value anyone that's close to you. You love to laugh, you're very passionate, emotional, but you can kick off. Oh, my Lord. 
as I said, I've known a few Life Path Nines and they're all very passionate and emotional and I love them all to bits because I get on with Nines big time. But my Lord, I wouldn't want to be around when you kick off. <gasps> no. You're very worldly. You're very sophisticated. You know, you won't make a fool of yourself. If somebody else wants to throw themselves in a river, you'll quite happily watch them and have fun, but you're not going to do that yourself. You're above that. You know, you're, you know, people follow you, not the other way around. You're a loyal caretaker, champion of the underdog. So if you see someone that's struggling or vulnerable, you are going to be the one to fight the bully, to help the vulnerable person, basically. You're just like a hero. Um, you're persuasive, you're authoritative, very powerful, very powerful, strong characters, the Life Path Nine. Um, uh, but you're also helpful, you know, you're you're like this lovely person, but you're also not to be messed with as well. So you've got a lot of skills there, Life Path Nine. What are your challenges, though? As all Life Paths have challenges, you definitely have challenges. So if you're an unbalanced nine or a low vibrational nine or a young nine that's still finding his feet, his or her feet, you will have difficulty um, with the very, with spiritual laws, basically. You will have difficulty following rules and not doing things that disrupt others. Um, that you'd be the kid at school that was always in trouble with the teachers or getting himself excluded or arrested, you know, that kind of thing. Um, you have difficulty doing what you intuitively know is best because you get stuck in your mental analytical mind and then you think of what your ideals are and you think, no, no, whether my heart believes it or not, I have to do this because that's what I believe in and that's caused many deaths in the past, especially from religious leaders. You need, you must take responsibility for the consequences of your actions because you're powerful. If you do something and it all goes I'm going to say tits up, take responsibility, guys. You know, don't shirk it, don't lie, don't run away from it. Um, you have difficulty with cause and effect, action, reaction. Like you just do something, but you don't always consider what might be the impact of that. Um, you can misinterpret interpret yourself. You can put yourself forward as a very giving person. You can, like the ultimate con artist, really, you can make someone believe that they are the center of your world or that you're going to do something amazing for them. And then you realize actually at the end of it all that they've just screwed you out of all your life savings or done something else bad to you. But that's only an unbalanced nine. They're very good at making you believe what they want you to believe and be inauthentic. So you can also, because you're a leader and people follow you, you can mislead others into unethical behavior too. Um, Fail to respect other people's process or path, taking the mick out of others because they've got different beliefs to you, different ideals to you, and like disrespecting them basically for being different to you, which, you know, when you're more balanced, you wouldn't do something like that. Misusing your will to dominate others, playing God. Like I said, the, the, the archetypal sect leader that leads all his, all his followers to group suicide. I have no doubt that that you know, that any sect leader that does that actually believes what they're doing is right and that they think that, you know, whatever they do to women or other people or how badly they treat others, they fully believe they're doing the right thing because their ideals have told them so. Um, so, you know, not all the time, but a lot of the time, even these people playing God, they actually do think in their idealistic, deluded mind that they're doing the right thing. Um, but other, other nines are totally aware of what they're doing they know they're putting up this lovely persona across but in the background they're actually um screwing you over basically that's in the negative though oh well-intentioned fanatic like i said earlier a lot of sect leaders they could be well-intentioned they you know they believe what they're doing is right and they're fanatical and they will do terrible things that they think is right for their ideals um, they're like a rebel without a cause sometimes. They just fight against everything, especially if they get angry or frustrated. Um, definitely judge, judge, judge others by their ideals and will, you know, often do horrible things to people that don't have the same ideals of them if they're really negative. Um, <laughs> yes, the Life Path Nine is very much the saviour um, and they help a lot of people. They're the advisor, the saviour, the protector like the god, the superhero figure. However, 
this can make you a bit of a fixer and then you sacrifice your own needs and you end up suffering because you've given everything that you have to someone else and you're not giving enough back to yourself. So try and avoid being a fixer and sacrificing your own needs and your own will um, just for other people. I mean, it's good. It's good to give to other people, but not to your own detriment. Uh, Self-judgment, internalized pain and substance abuse comes from your idealistic nature. And you also you tend to hold on to bad things that have happened to you in the past. Let's say something happened to you in the past that um, has really traumatized you. And instead of fighting to get by it, you actually use it as an excuse to do what you do. So whether it's your ideals or something that's happened to you in the past that gives you this justification, you can use that as well um, as a justification to hurt other people or do something for your own benefit. Um, yeah, you find it hard to let go of previous events that don't serve you and you can hold yourself back because of it and end up a victim. Oh, it's happened to me. Self-pity, self-pity, grizzle, grizzle. You know, that works with people for a while, but it doesn't work forever and it only brings you down. Uh, emotionally intense, fiery temper. You don't want to be in, in the way of a life path six when he kicks off. But you can, you're also quite distant. You, you know, you're caring and you're giving, but you're caring and giving to people that are at a distance, people that you see as less fortunate than you. That doesn't mean that you want to be really close to the people in your life. There's always you've always got people at a bit of arm's length, um, holding people back at a distance. You're quite aloof and you hide your heart. I think maybe because you're worried about getting it hurt. I don't know, but you do hide your heart and you can be quite cold and apathetic at times. Right, so what I've been talking about, there are currently six ways to be a life path nine. What I've just discussed with you um, up until now is a pure nine, the pure nine energy. And some people's life uh, birthday does add up to a nine. Uh, so that would be their life path, just a nine. You're here to be a nine. Um, but, you know, most people have uh, sub lessons before their life path. What I like to call steps to help you achieve your life path. So if we look at the 189, so 9 on the far right is the most important of those numbers. That's your life path. That is the big kahuna in your life. Top notch, top of the pyramid, life path 9. The 1 and the 8 are the steps that you need to achieve to be the best life path 9 you can be. And out of these two numbers, the most important of the two is the one furthest to the right. And then lesser so, the one furthest to the left. So if you think of a life path, unless it's a, a master life path, the more significant the numbers are to the right, and as you go more to the left, they become less significant. So this is the most significant step, the eight in the life path 189, with the one being... Okay, so let's start with the life path 189. So as I said before, the nine is the most important number, that is your life path. Um, but because it's the most significant sub lesson of this life path, I'm going to start with the eight. So to be the best life path nine you can be in this life, in this incarnation, you must work with abundance, power and recognition and to apply your, your material success um, in service of the common good. So you need to experience inner abundance. That's gratitude, knowing that you've got a lot already. Um, that you feel abundant in here, in your heart. Um, not make money your God. That's the last thing you want to do or anyone wants to do. Make money the God of their life. That will not make you happy on any in any way, uh, shape or form. And, um, you, you know, you can never have enough money to make you happy. And, you know, material things, phew, yeah, they make you happy for a little while. But you soon get bored of them. Long-term happiness does not come from money and material gain. That I can assure you. Um, so you need to not make money your God. Learn about personal power. And what I mean by that is not to overpower others or be powerless. So to have a balance where people respect you for who you are. And then with this inner abundance and gratitude and balanced personal power, you can then in the one bring your unique groundbreaking ideas with confidence and independence. So if you're a life path 189, 
Ultimately, you're here to live in accord with your highest integrity, align your heart's intuitive wisdom and not focus on the brain. Remember, remember. So it's, it's whatever your heart tells you. Um, inspire others by example, because, you know, the life you live, people will follow. And to confront issues in the areas of integrity and wisdom, like doing something with integrity or not so much. Um, to do this, as a 189, you need to feel the inner abundance and have balanced personal power, which comes from the eighth step. And then um, bring your new ethical ideas to the world with confidence and independence so if you're a top notch 189 top vibrational you're full of integrity and wisdom you're humanitarian you're full of global consciousness you have a desire to help the world you're the ultimate humanitarian and lifesaver and hero and um, others follow your amazing example um, you don't care about power and recognition you just want to use your abundance and your power and your status to help others, um, help others achieve the same success or help those that are more vulnerable or more needy than you. And you bring a new message and new, unique, groundbreaking ideas um, confidently. You know, that's a high vibrational nine. Um, now, you know, there are some bits down the bottom here for nines that struggle, especially the 189. Um, you might have all of these, you might have none of them, you might have some of them. So I'm not saying all of these, you, you know, this happens to all of you. So when unbalanced, you can be inauthentic and misrepresent yourself, giving um, when you're actually, you know, misrepresent yourself as a giving personality and that you're doing something for someone and then actually you're tricking them or doing something underhand. Um, ignoring ethics um, or morals um, and spiritual laws totally. Um, and in the eight, you can be obsessed with money and power for success, for your own self-interest, or you can be um, really domineering in the eight, or totally and completely subservient, depends where you are on the continuum, um, worried about lack, and uh, you can either lack confidence or you can be overconfident, and that's in the one energy. Right. So the 279. So because it's the most significant um, step, I'm starting with the seven because we know that the nine is the most important of the numbers. So I'm starting with the seven because this is one of the most important step to be in the best 279 you can be. So to be the best life path nine you can be in this incarnation, you must in the seven trust the soul within you and others and in the process of your life so that you feel safe to it, uh, open up and share your inner beauty. So trusting others and the soul within you not to hurt you, basically, and trust your intuition and understand that it's your intuition that knows best. With this trust, you can then use this to serve and cooperate and work as part of a team, develop excellent social skills and be a media and an advisor. Um, so if you are a life path 279, you are here to live in accord with your highest integrity, which is the life path nine, to align your, align your heart's intuitive wisdom, inspire others by example, uh, to con confront issues in the areas of integrity and wisdom. Uh, but to do this, you've got to trust your soul's intuition. You've got to follow that inner knowing, that inner, that inner voice, which tells you what's the right way to go. Don't ignore that inner voice. And that's the nine and the seven really need to focus on this inner voice. So to me, the two, seven, nine, more significantly than any other life path nine, must listen to their inner voice because the seven and the nine are very focused on developing that. And it's the two, seven, nine that might find listening to their inner voice the most difficult um, because it's something they're here to achieve at the end of the day. It's not something they're supposed to have already. So if you are a bang on, top notch, big man, positive uh, 279, you're full of integrity and wisdom, uh, you've got a global consciousness, you're a humanitarian, you're like a hero, um, there to save the world, change the world to for the better. Um, you're guided by your intuition and your inner voice, and you know that obstacles are there to, see the to uh, teach us something. You have excellent social skills and the ability to build rapport with anyone. Uh, again, you might have some of these, all of them or none of them. Uh, when unbalanced, you can be in or inauthentic and make yourself out to be someone you're not. Um, ignoring ethics and spiritual laws totally. In the seven, you trust no one and others don't trust you either. 
Uh, so you isolate yourself um, or create emotional drama and resentment. You know, the two energy in you could end up arm folding and saying, I'm not doing it. Um, so you might have some of those elements or you might have none of them or all of them. Right, three, six, nine. Okay, so again, because it's the most significant of the sub-lessons, I'm starting with the six because it's the number closest to the slash. It's closest to the life path. So to be the best life path nine you can be in this incarnation, you must reconcile your high ideals with practical reality and accept yourself, the world and the moment and the present moment and everything around you as it is. Either is already perfect, um, which, which it is really. Life's not meant to be a, a ball game. It's meant to be a lesson. Um, with a firm grip on reality, then you can express yourself with sensitivity to guide, entertain and inspire. So as a life path 369, you're here ultimately to be a life path 9, to live in accord with your highest integrity, to align to your heart's intuitive wisdom and inspire others, um, un, uh, confront issues in the area of integrity and wisdom, being a good boy or a good girl. To do this, you must understand that your ideals are not always re realistic or possible, that people and situations are just perfect the way they are. So I think the 369 is, in fact, I know, is the most idealistic of all the numbers. Um, if anyone's going to be a fundamentalist or an idealist, it's going to be a 369 because um, they have a double number there that is very, 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 very idealistic. Um, so to do this, you must understand that your ideals are not always realistic or possible that people in situations are perfect just the way they are. And you express yourself with sensitivity positively with others to inspire and delight them, really. You're quite the entertainer when you want to be. So when you're a top-notch, um, a real top-notch 36.9, you're full of integrity, you've got a global consciousness, you're a really good person, you help others, you're the archetypal hero, um, but you haven't got, you know, you've, you've realized that ideals are uh, not really, you know, what is an ideal? What's ideal for one person is totally nightmare for another person. So, you know, I, I personally don't believe in the ideal. Um, there is no one ideal. Um, but, you know, if you're a 369 and you've got a firm grip on reality, you won't be judgmental of others because you won't have any ideals to judge them by. So you have a firm grip on reality, you're non-judgmental, you're, you're a non-judgmental hero um, because you know that everything is as it should be already and you appeal to people's emotions with your creative expression. So you're quite charismatic as well. Again, when unbalanced, you can be inauthentic, you can be a total naughty person and then hide your real intentions. In the six, you can be judgmental and critical because no one measures up to your ideals. Um, and this causes disappointment in you and can make you annoyed and angry and stroppy, emotional turmoil. And then you can end up like abusive and shouting at people and getting angry. Um, and like I said earlier, this number, I feel more than any of the others. The 369 is much more likely to be the fierce fundamentalist or the idealist that justifies in their own mind why it's OK to go and hurt someone um, for your own ideals. Definitely not. It is never okay. Four, five, nine. Okay, most significant sub lesson here is the five. So to be that best life path nine you can be in this incarnation, you must learn to discover through depth of experience, discipline, focus, and developing a specialism, not being too scattered, focus down on one specialism, um, set priorities and having the discipline to achieve them, um, that is what brings ultimate freedom, to be a specialist in one thing and to know it so well um, that, that you, it, you break down into the space to where all your previous interests actually link up anyway. And, you know, that's what brings you freedom. It's that focus and hard work. Then achieve stability and security by following a planned process towards the fruition of your ideas. That's the four. So if you're a life path 459, you're here, like any life path 9, to live in accord with your highest integrity, to align, align with your heart's intuition, listen to the soul within you, not the brain, 
not the idealistic um, logical brain which may be deluded um, so inspire others by example and be that hero um, to do this you've got to focus your attention on a specialism um, experience this one subject in depth and then set yourself some goals devise a plan and a process follow that plan step by step with focus and hard work and you can't really go wrong um, so in the positive, when you're a top-notch banging 45.9 or 459, you're full of integrity, you're a hero, you're a humanitarian, my hero, and you're known for your expertise, your expertise and your um, excellent ability to communicate with other people. So people see you as quite um, a specialist um, and a hero. Um, you're also determined and organized hard worker who makes sure you achieve your goals. So you're very determined uh, person as well because you want to um, achieve that secure stable foundation in life so again when on balance you could be any all any more all or none of these issues but the nine can tend to be a bit inauthentic um, making themselves out to be someone they're not as I've said before um, totally ignoring spiritual laws or doing the opposite um, and in the five, you can end up scattered or disorganized and uncommitted. You fives can be very disorganized, forgetful, definitely. Um, and in the four, the potential to be directionless, lazy and often isolate yourself as well. But again, you could be some or none of these or there might be just one issue in your life. And that's easy. You can work that out. Or you might be a nightmare and you might have issues in all, in all the areas. It just gives you more to work towards. OK. Right, last one, five, four, nine. Most significant sub-lesson here is the four, or steps towards your goal is the four. Um, so to be the, less, the best life path nine you can be in this incarnation, you must achieve stability and security by following a plan process towards your goals. Be organized, structured, work hard and have a plan. That's in the four. Then focus your efforts and experience into a specialism. If you notice the other one was four, five, so the five was more significant. This one now is um, the five, four, making the four the more significant of the steps. OK, so if you are a life path five, four, nine, you're here to live in accord with your highest integrity, be a good person, be a hero, lead by example, um, confront issues of being a naughty boy or a good boy um, and issues about wisdom. So. And to do this, you must have goals, a plan to achieve them, and the perseverance and work ethic to keep going till it's done. And then secondary, with the specialized skills and the ability to communicate them effectively would be secondary. So your 549 energy in the positive, you're, you're a superhero, you're a humanitarian, you do everything for the good of everybody else. People follow you almost like God because you're just so amazing. Um, you have firm goals and a process to achieve them, the determination to get there, um, and you've got a strong foundation there. Um, and you communicate your deep, specialised knowledge eloquently and professionally. When unbalanced, you can be inauthentic, misrepresent yourself as uh, giving when you're actually tricking them, ignoring ethics totally, spiritual laws. Um, but in the four, you can isolate yourself a bit. Be a bit directionless, lazy, forgetful, uncommitted and scattered in the five. But again, you know, you might be some of them, you might be all of them. OK, it depends how you're far along you are, your life path and how developed you are. I really hope you loved my video again this time. So please, because I'm a new, new personage, um, I've only got a few subscribers and I want to get my, get this out there so I can help as many people as I can. So please like, share, subscribe to my videos and click that bell icon because that's what lets you know about all the up to date stuff. Um, if you want a, any advice or a reading or anything like that, email me at soulexplorer.net um, or no, that's my website. Go to a soulexplorer.net and you can communicate with me through there or email me at katie at soulexplorer.net. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter. So if you're on any or all of those, I'm on there and I try and post every day on there. OK, lovely. It's been great talking to you again today, guys. The next video I'm going to do is the Life Path 11. 
I'm hoping to do that later on in the week. And I'll look forward to doing that and coming back and speaking to you again, guys. I hope you have an amazing day. And I hope this video has been really helpful to you. Uh, Katie Ewers, Soul Explorer, signing off.